the, the prescription because I'm having trouble sleeping. My life, I live a, a stressful life. I thought uh, someone said, well, go to the doctor and, and see, see, and see what they recommend. Uh, they prescribe Xanax. I don't function well on Xanax. I just, I discovered that the day that yeah, I, I can't it. take sleep age too. And I've tried it before. That's why I'll put a plug in. That's why I'm going to send you a bottle of knockout, John. If knockout works for you, will you give us a plug? I will. Absolutely. Five bottles immediately. Xanax. But Xanax is not just for sleeping. I mean, it's, it's for basically just calming a person down, but it calmed me down to the point that I couldn't even function. So it was the first day I had taken it. I had the prescription bottle issued that day. I had never taken it before. Uh, I took the required amount. Um, I, I had, uh, accepted a blood test. When the blood test comes out, um, it, I, I think that by law here in Tennessee, if, if it is a prescribed drug, uh, and if you're not taking um, uh, an excessive amount or amount exceeding what the doctor has prescribed, I, I don't think there'll be any charges. Um, but again, if you are arrested with a DUI in the state of Tennessee and you have handguns, it's a fairly serious offense. But I, I'm Which not, is pure I'm not. bull. I mean, you don't want to. Uh, you know, they have the 68 Gun Control Act to try to say we're going after criminals with guns, but then all they do is snare good people. I mean, why should you get in trouble if you're on a prescribed drug and you've got a gun to protect yourself? It's just pure bull. And Obama has announced outside of law he's coming after the guns. I want to ask you about that. Now, John, we've got a fourth hour of overdrive, and a lot of stations are now picking it up. And, um, my, my reporters host that hour, and that would be a little bit different. I know they have some guests lined up and things, but would you like to do 20 minutes in the next hour with my next host? Uh, you know, I, I would love to, Alex. Unfortunately, I have uh, I have someone else that I'm going to be talking to. On a I totally, totally understand. Thing. All right, so well, can you stay till 5 after so we have more time to take That's calls? A, I can do that, yes, All sir. right, you're a sweetheart. All right, two final segments, one uh, in the next and then one after that in Overdrive with John McAfee. We'll talk to Rob Bill, Mark, Eric, and John straight ahead. And then now we do the fourth hour, it's back. Some days I'll be hosting it. Other days it'll be uh, David Knight, Anthony Gucciardi, Rob Dude, Jakari Jackson, uh, folks like that. Um, Joe Biggs, Darren McBreen, stay with us. Look at this headline. Burning Man founder addresses diversity problem by suggesting black people don't like camping because of slavery. No, it's been a hipster, trendy, psychedelic event for decades. That's that genre that white kids, Asians, and Hispanics are into. Blacks just haven't felt like they're part of it, just like you can have different concerts and things that are mainly black. It's just, it's just a cultural deal. But they act like it's bad, and the founder basically apologizes because I mean, it's like going to an Oktoberfest, and it's mainly Germans, or going to Cinco de Mayo, and it's mainly Mexicans. It's, it's not bad. It's okay to have a culture. See, political correctness is the end of culture. It's really crazy. John McAfee's our guest. I, I got to ask this question before we jam in some calls now and next segment. What do you make of the China meltdown and them dumping $94 billion in U.S. Treasuries? I mean, I think this economy is going down the tubes, John. Well, I, I think, I think that, that we have way underestimated China as a, uh, uh, as a power uh, in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm in computer security, and... Uh, many of the hacks that have happened here in America, our government hacks and corporate hacks, uh, are, are done by the Chinese. Uh, they're a brilliant race of people. They, they, they work hard. They study hard. Uh, their educational system is, 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 is second to none. Um, and they are a race. That's not racist that they exist. Well, it is a race. I'm, I'm married to a black woman. You mentioned before, you know, the cultural differences. And you have to believe me, there are massive cultural differences between the races. Um, you know, sometimes when I speak to my wife, I, I have to actually translate uh, the, the words that I'm saying because culturally, uh, they, they, don't, they don't apply to, to her experience as, as a black woman. And the same thing for, for me. She has to say, well, uh, this means this, this, and this. And I go, oh, I get it. I understand. So it's a fact of life. Um, and yeah, I'm, they're I'm, making I'm, the I'm, fact of life bad. Well, but I'm the least racist person on the planet. Well, not obviously, but I, I am married. No, to but that's woman. what it comes down to is they're making ju us just being different as if that's bad itself. So we'll accept their whole corporate override. Do you agree with that? Well, of course. I mean, it's, it's uh, we want we, the, the, the purpose of government is to make everybody the same. Uh, that way, everybody's easier to control. This is a fact of life. 
I mean, the holy grail of dictatorship is not power, necessarily. It's knowledge of the populace. If you have absolute knowledge of every citizen, you have absolute power then. Uh, and, and that's what, the, that's what is, is, is happening here and in countries all over the world. Uh, the, 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 the powers that be want to know where you are. Who your friends are. But then they're well, all secretive. We've got to jam in these calls, John. you got to come back soon. This has been a great interview. We've got two minutes here, five in the next. Uh, Rob in New Jersey, what's your question for John McAfee? Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it, and I salute you. I just want to say you're doing a tremendous job uh, with InfoWars. Thank and uh, I, I, I count it a privilege to be able to speak with Mr. McAfee. Well, thank you. we got uh, about a minute. I just, Sure, yes, sir. Uh, you know, I, I, just what you're saying about the polarization of America – Concerning the RFID chip, Mr. McAfee, do you do you see that this RFID chip will be pushed upon all of America? And do you do you believe that it could possibly be part of the uh, mark of the beast system, as talked about in the Book of Revelation? Well, you know, I, I, I tend to avoid uh, religion as a as a subject, um, and and I'm far, I'm far more concerned with with the technology that is already here, we don't need a chip. If there is a devil, he'd love all this stuff. That's for sure. Um, the, 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 the technology that exists with things like the Stingray developed by Harris Corporation, uh, which, which uh, every police department in America has one. You can drive by a neighborhood and they will pick up every single conversation within a half a mile radius, every single one. And it can also push into your phone software that will make everything that you do, every keystroke. Uh, John, uh, stay there. Back in 70 seconds, you can finish your point. New article in InfoWars. Liberals want the Bible banned from Amazon sales. Thank you. For Folks, these are totalitarians. Today. We're in deep trouble. We, we got to say no to them. And they're weak and pathetic as well. Rob Dew's going to be covering it and playing the video, bleeping out the cuss words. Video, refugees that nobody will take in the Middle East, throw rocks at Hungarians and shout F you as they maraud and rob vehicles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I mean, just this, the trouble of, of the Middle East being dumped into Europe with the socialists rubbing their hands together. John McAvey, I got cut off by the break. We're taking phone calls. John in Wyoming, you're on the air with Mr. McAfee. go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, John, were you at the 2013 NRA convention in Houston? No, sir, I was not. You weren't. Well, I'm sorry you missed it. it. We had some interesting words there where I stood up and told all of the gun grabbers, the Bloombergs and Obamas and Schumers, fill your hand, you SOB. And of course, I, I can't say those words on the air. But what I'm concerned about is even the pro-gun movement like the NRA, four of their members of the board of directors, J. Kenneth Blackwell, Dan Boren, James S. Gilmore III, who's running for president, and Grover Norquist, four of these men are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. So they're undermining our gun rights while claiming to be pro-gun. Uh, I, I think that's true. Uh, here, here's my feeling about guns. Yeah, but everybody knows I, I, I have lots of guns, and I have since I was a, a boy when my grandfather taught me how to, to hunt squirrels with a twenty two. Um, I'm, I'm far more concerned with education. Uh, uh, than 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 what people are you know what people have guns. So would you uh, call would, for the repeal of the sixty eight gun control act? Pardon? Would you call for the repeal of gun laws? Well, I, I would I would certainly modify them tremendously. I, I think for, first and foremost, people should not be allowed to buy a gun if they can't load it properly. They don't know what a safety is, and they've never had one before. I mean, I think this that. Gun safety is, is, is very necessary. The so that makes that sense if they wouldn't misuse those laws. Look at how they're misapplying laws. Like a lot of prescription drugs will cause people to go crazy. But I don't think that when they sell these drugs, they can then take people's guns away because they're on prescription drugs because it'll be misapplied. Yeah. I mean, it's an apples and oranges. I agree. I agree fully. Nevertheless, uh, as I said, my grandfather taught me how to shoot. The very first things he taught me were, you know, when you're climbing a fence, Put your gun on the other side first. Make sure the safety is on. Never point the barrel at anybody. I can't believe the number of people I've seen with guns who wave their guns around, showing them to people while they're loaded. I mean, certain certain things. No, I agree. But because those idiots are out there, doesn't mean I have to lose my rights. You agree with that? Oh, absolutely. And 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 they shouldn't lose their rights either. Someone should just sit them down 
and, and give them a class and say, look, here's some basic rules about how you use guns. You don't ever point the barrel of a gun at anybody. Yeah, that'll uh, tell some of these crazy cops that that shoot innocent people and give good cops a bad name. Bill, you're on the air uh, real quick from Illinois. Last caller, sorry to the others, but you'll be able to be on with Rob Dew coming up. Go ahead. Yeah, what advice do you have to kids? Uh, do you see a future for our kids since uh, robots and singularity and artificial intelligence is looming on the horizon? What, what future do you see for our kids? Well, you know, I, I think that artificial intelligence is already with us and to a very large degree, and, and so is robotics. Um, I think one of the problems that, that I see in our current, current government is that, that they are illiterate uh, in terms of the technology upon which this entire society is based, from our communications, to our military hardware, um, our financial systems. Everything is based on computing and cyber science. And, and yet you find any congressman or any senator who can talk of, uh, effectively and, and reasonably about any of these subjects, and you cannot. That's right. I mean, isn't the Internet just a bunch of tubes? Well, yeah. So, so, yes, yeah, basically. So, so it's, 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 like, it's like not being able to read. So you go to a congressman and say, well, no, I can't read, but I have advisors that tell me what words mean. I mean, it's exactly the same thing. We, we, we have to change this world to, to a point where we, we need to understand what the foundation of our entire society is based on. That's right, Maccabee16.com. John, we're out of time. Thank you for giving us the exclusive on the fact that uh, there's been a filing for you to run for president. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Rob Deuce coming up, hosting the fourth hour with your phone calls and more. And the news we haven't gotten.